Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica, I'm here with your June 2016 monthly advice readings. This is a reading for Aries. Um, you can also watch your moon and rising sign readings as well for extra clarification. Um, please keep an open mind, these are general readings and so they may not apply to everybody or not in the same way and if you would like a specific reading, uh, well personal reading specific to you and your situation, um, you can go to my website and um, order one that is suitable for you. Just follow the link below, it will take you to my website, there's a bunch of readings for you to uh, choose from, just make sure you go down the page and uh, see all the readings offered um, in order to help you make your mind up as to which one is best for you. And I look forward to your readings. So, um, for the month of June 2016, we have a week by week view and general energies. Um, we're going to start with general energies. We have the Ten of Cups with the High Priestess to serve as your overall energies for the month. Okay, now the Ten of Cups talks about a happy conclusion. The Ten of Cups is your happily ever after card. This is um, things coming together. Everything is coming together very nicely. Uh, you're feeling a sense of accomplishment. You're feeling a sense of uh, familiarity and being at home in a situation um, where things are finally the way they're supposed to be. You're seeing the rainbow after the storm. Um, with the High Priestess, this is, um, also uh, talks about potentially starting a new relationship this month. Okay, you could have the opportunity to start a new relationship. This is a card that talks about partnership. And when I look at the High Priestess next to the Ten of Cups, this is telling me that you could be meeting someone new this month um, and they have a lot of potential in the relationship um, that you may choose to start with this person um, has a lot of potential to take you to your happily ever after, okay? With the High Priestess, this is also uh, to do with knowledge, gathering knowledge, gathering information, learning new things, expanding your knowledge, expanding your skills, increasing them, uh, making them better. Um, and with the Ten of Cups, I feel like there's some kind of celebration. There is a culmination of sorts, um, graduation of sorts, okay? So it could be that as well. Um, as your overall energies for the month, um, the Ten of Cups tells you that it's going to be a really good month. There's still um, things that are waiting to pay off for you. There's still things that need to um, ripen to come to maturity and pay off for you, but you're starting to see the initial results of that, the initial payoffs, um, the initial rewards, you know, ever um, from the beginning of the month, let's say, and then you're going to see more and more as the month progresses. Um, and you're going to have this feeling of being at home, okay, and, and being um, and happy and emotionally balanced and everything is going okay. And the High Priestess card also talks about balance. It is a number two card. So things are finally um, taking um, a positive direction for you and one that is calm and constant. It's no longer rocky roads, okay, or one step forward, two steps back. So um, this is going to be also could be a month of celebrations for you. You could have um, weddings to attend, okay, this month, uh, christenings definitely to attend, um, housewarming parties. There is news that is coming your way um, and it is um, invitation to a celebration, okay. So um, looks like really good energy, okay, really positive energy for you. For the first week we have the seven of rods or the seven of wands coupled with the queen of rods or the queen of wands okay so for a lot of you um this is going to be you um with the the queen of rods being a fire sign this is aries leo sagittarius for a lot of you this is going to be you um standing up for yourself the first week of the month is a week where you have to endure where you have to stand up for yourself defend your work especially okay defend your work defend your ideas your creative process um you're looking good you're standing out from the crowd with the seven of wands um if you are applying for jobs this month um i feel like you're standing out from the rest of applicants um the way to get the job is to be creative to be confident to be yourself okay be um with the queen of rods 
think big be a different think outside the box step outside your comfort zone okay um also be um diplomatic hear people people out um before you make your decision or hear people out before you express your own opinion um she's the quiet one she gathers information uh, before making a decision she makes sure she hears everyone involved she hears the opinion of everyone involved um, so that when she makes a decision or when she makes a choice it is a fair one it is the just one okay um for others i feel like you are interviewing for something this week um again you're standing out from the rest of applicants with the seven of wands um it's your confidence that sets you apart, okay? Because I feel like in the situation, a lot of the resumes are very, very similar. And so they are looking for what sets these people apart. If it's not their qualifications, it's gotta be their people skills, it's gotta be their attitude, their confidence, and so on. So I feel like if you have interviews to go to or applications to um, deal with, um, be confident, smile, okay? Don't let them see your anxiety, don't let them see your, um, um, you know doubts or or fear that what if I don't get it and so on you know just you know put a brave face on and smile and present yourself in a confident manner and um, you know tell a joke be you know a people person and so on because that's what is going to set you apart from the rest really um, for others I feel like the seven of rods talks about the end of competition I feel like you have been involved in some kind of competition when it comes to work um, and this may be may have been official proper competition um, or you know that um, one where you know you knew you were aware or um, several people were aware that your superiors are paying attention to the way people do stuff because they're looking for someone to promote to a better position okay and so with the seven of rods I feel like you've you've held your own uh, you may have to um, you know hold your own for the for the first week as well the first week in June as well but you're really standing out from the rest of uh, the crowd um, it's your creativity it's your um, outspoken nature um, your dedication to the job your passion for what you do your attention to um, detail and to um, doing a really good job a, a quality job okay that is what is setting you apart from everyone else and also the fact that you're you can remain balanced okay you're very very busy and um, yes you have a lot to get done but you don't get stressed and then yell at people um, you get organized you get motivated and you still have a smile on your face okay and so with the ten of cups I feel like there's a happy culmination of that there's a happy conclusion of that so um, you will get the promotion you will get the raise you will get the job okay you'll get that advancement uh, in your career and whichever way it applies to you um, and I feel like if there have been any disputes in the workplace or disputes related to the work, related to um, your ideas, proving whose ideas they were and so on and so forth, um, people trying to take credit for you, uh, your work, um, I feel like that's going to end well for you. I feel like there's going to be someone coming in, um, potentially an outside person, someone outside the company. Um, coming in to review the facts and I feel like this is someone who is there for the right reasons they're really there to get to the bottom of things um, they're gonna have a look at, at the at the situation and you're gonna come out on top okay and so that's why you have that happy celebration that happy conclusion it's done um, everyone knows um, you know who deserves credit and so on okay But I'm seeing a lot of you definitely moving to the next level in your job, in your career, moving up the ladder. Okay, things are growing in your career, things are expanding, you're getting more responsibility. And, you know, better pay as a result. And for some of you, I feel like this is a week where you're very, very busy and you're trying to get everything done because you're preparing um, to go off and spend some time with your family on some sort of family vacation, okay? For the second week, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. This is an interesting combination. It's coming in two, uh, two ways, okay, two types of energy, first of all. 
Um, for, so this is for the second week. The Ace of Pentacles is a job offer. The Ace of Pentacles is moving to a new home. The Ace of Pentacles is uh, potentially a relationship, okay, that is being offered to you. Um, this could be coming from an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, that they're extending this offer to you. Now, if this is a relationship, then the Ace of Pentacles is very good energy, okay? It's, it's great potential for a relationship. Um, it has the potential to take you to your happily ever after emotionally, but also give you a secure relationship, a stable relationship, one that is for the long run, one that will withstand the test of time. And um, you will have a comfortable life with this person, okay? Um, from a material point of view, uh, emotionally comfortable, okay, you're going to um, experience a grounded relationship with this person, a balanced relationship with this person, okay. Um, with the four of pentacles, though, there is resistance, there is a wall up. Um, and I feel like this person is trying to break down that wall. Um, and I do see you with the High Priestess, I see you investigating, I see you gathering information about this person, trying to understand them better, trying to uh, be sure that you're making the right choice if you choose to be with them or if you choose not to be with them. Um, you could meet this person at a family gathering, you could meet this person as, at a, um, a happy celebration, a happy event um, within the family or your circle of friends, weddings or celebrations of any kind really. Um, graduations, christenings, a family vacation, a an exit, you know, um, an exit, what's the word? Um, an event you attend with your friends, like a concert, something where everyone's getting together and they're really happy and they're really excited, okay? Social events of any kind or definitely through your family and close friends you could be meeting this person. And so I feel like this person is really trying to break down your walls. Um, I feel like you're not sure about this person. You don't know um, if they mean what they say. They could be too good to be true. So you're really, you know, trying to find out more about them. Um, and so you're not letting your guard down until you have more information about this person, until you're clearer on what decision you need to be making, if you believe them or not. Um, for others, this is talking about... Um, oh, there's a lot coming in. For others, this is talking about money coming in okay new money coming in a new source of income a new a new job um a change in your career for the better um more clients coming into your business your personal business if you have a personal business more clients are coming in your income is increasing um and you have a lot more opportunities on the back of this okay that's coming in for you um and this is happening to stabilize your financial situation okay with the four of pentacles um you're covering all your bases you're able to pay off debts uh, bills um put money aside and still have a really comfortable month um, also plan for the future definitely if you can put as much money aside as you can because the ace of pentacles is just the beginning of something okay um, there's still work that needs to be put in to expand this opportunity and truly take advantage of it um, for some of you you may be buying a house okay you may be buying a house or you may be buying a you know a big ticket item like a big car uh, or a family home um, or you could be moving into a different home okay um, and so with the four of pentacles you're really paying attention to um, your uh, budget okay you there's a lot of money going out um, but there's definitely this is a big investment okay you're not just losing that money this is a big investment so it's going to pay off for you in the long run um, what else? Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a month, um, it's a really good month for you to expand. If this is a, a family business or um, a home-based business, with the Ace of Pentacles, there's a, lot mo a, a sum of money coming in, a lot of opportunities coming in, new clients. So you could definitely take this opportunity to expand your business somehow, to make it bigger, make it better. Um, invest in your advertising, invest in um, your your house and um, the you know the the space you work in. Make it bigger, make it better, make it more beautiful. Um, 
there is an investment that needs to go in okay but it's important that you don't focus on the money that you give okay the money that you invest in this because i feel like with the four of pentacles there's a sense of i don't want to lose my money but you're not losing it you're investing it and it will pay off for you okay um for the third week we have the hermit coupled with the hierophant so these two are very spiritual cards okay and, and they came in together and they're major arcana cards so combined with the general energy cards we have three major arcana cards in there okay in the third week and we have the high priestess the hermit and the hierophant so that these are all very spiritual cards so this could be a very spiritual week for you i feel like it could be going on uh, some kind of uh, pilgrimage uh, to a holy place um, or you're going to a place where they hold a lot of knowledge they hold a lot of answers something you're very curious about you're very interested in um, because the high priestess is talking about answers knowledge coming your way the hermit is also talking about gaining knowledge um, having that illumination and the hierophant is also talking about um, a mentor coming in a guide coming in so I feel like for the third week, there's a lot of um, answers coming your way. With the Hierophant, there are doors opening up for you. Aha moments happening. Again, this is going to be a very spiritual week, so um, really connect with your intuition. Your intuition is going to be increased and on point for the, for the entire month, um, but in the third week in particular. Um, and this is a week when you're going to receive a lot of information from your angels, your spirit guides, the universe, God. Um, they're going to be communicating with you quite a bit. Um, I feel like a lot of synchronicity is happening during this week, being at the right time, um, in the right place at the right time, uh, meeting the right people, having the right conversations, a lot of meant to be energy surrounding the third week. Um, a lot of realizations happening definitely a lot of um missing puzzle pieces uh coming coming in for you coming together for you and so that is also contrib contributing to this uh happy ever after to this beautiful uh completion the higher one also talks about this is a teacher um a mentor so you have the High Priestess and Hierophant together, okay? Uh, this is a very powerful time for you of learning, gaining knowledge, acquiring solutions, answers. Um, many of them will come through meditation. Many of them will come to you um, subconsciously uh, through your intuition, okay, with the Hermit in there. Um, like I say, a lot of doors will be open for you this week. The Hierophant talks about joining a community as well, joining a group of people that are like-minded. So you could find yourself joining a new company. It could be a company that has to do, that deals with information somehow. Support, guidance for the people, um, therapists, counselors, something like that. Okay, or you're joining some kind of a support group where everyone is coming together, sharing experiences, sharing their, their, their answers to, to situations they've been in. You can use those answers, you can share your own experiences and so on. That will illuminate a lot about yourself and what you need to be doing. There's definitely a sense of celebration um, to do with a graduation. I feel like there's a gathering of teachers because all of these are teachers. The high priestess, the hermit, and the hierophant are teachers in their own way. Um, they hold um, knowledge. They hold the key to solutions, to answers we're looking for. And so I feel like there's a celebration um, with um, a graduation in that sense, okay? But also, I feel like there's a new beginning. So um, either... Someone is graduating and someone else in the family is just starting. Uh, or there's a graduation. There's definitely a sense of graduation. 
um, and this could be a child, you know, graduating, graduating from university, but also um, if you have go, if you're going through some kind of training uh, for work, um, anything to do with expanding your skills, expanding your knowledge, getting extra qualifications, okay, to go with this new position possibly, um, then you're just getting started, you're meeting your, your teachers, you're meeting the group you will be studying with and so on. Um, and so that's the group that you're joining. And you are being welcomed into this new family because it's a, it's a family in itself. You're going to be learning together, helping each other out. So I feel like the third week is not going to be very social for you, okay, or not as social. Um, with the Hermit, you're really going within. You're removing distractions from your path. Um, you're really going within, you're focusing on what matters, you have a plan, you're sticking to it, um, you're gathering information, you're gathering um, knowledge, looking for answers, planning things out. Um, preparing yourself to go through this gateway of, um, of the Hierophant that the Hierophant represents. If you're joining a new company, I feel like this is a very well-established company. It has some very senior members that have been in their positions for uh, quite some time. They have seen the company through uh, thick and thin. Um, they're very, very knowledgeable. They're definitely an authority in the field that they're in. And so you're being welcomed um, into that group into that company or department or school whatever this is really um, and you're really preparing yourself to start this journey of, uh, of pursuing knowledge for the fourth week there's also a sense of in the third week there's also a sense of some kind of uh, partnership, some kind of coming together um, on a spiritual level, um, also on an emotional level. So um, I feel like there's, there's uh, talks about marriage, talks about starting families, but you're keeping them to yourself, okay, just between you and your partner. Some of you may be getting secretly married or secretly engaged. could be that as well. In the fourth week we have the strength card with the nine of cups. Okay, so this is your wish card. So for the fourth week, um, with the strength card, this is talking about inner strength, this is talking about quiet strength, this is talking about controlling our uh, emotions okay for good or for bad so controlling our anxiety controlling um, that sense of getting overwhelmed controlling um, our fears um, controlling our tempers okay I feel like um, there is there may be a family get-together um, and perhaps out of respect for a matriarch um, everyone has to play nice With the Nine of Cups, this is your wish card. This is getting something that you have wished for, um, and more importantly, getting something that you have had to work for and wait for, okay, with the Strength card as well. Um, this is of an emotional nature, okay? So I feel like for the fourth week, there's definitely talks of partnerships again. Um, the opportunity to start a partnership with someone, this time this person could be um, a Leo, okay? Um, or a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And so this is something you have been wishing for, you have been working towards, and you really have to control, you've really had to control yourself, uh, keep your fears under control, keep your doubts, your anxiety, your impatience, um, thoughts, impatient thoughts under control um, to see this through. And I feel like this is the week when it's finally happening for you. Uh, 
Um, so this could be in love, okay, definitely. Um, there could be perhaps um, if if, uh, if uh, some of you have been involved in long distance relationships or online relationships, okay, this is the week when you're finally coming together. Um, you've had to um, withhold uh, your passion, okay, for each other because there was that distance, there was that separation. Um, and so now you're finally coming together and with the strength card, it's a very passionate week. Um, it's a, a week of falling in love. It's a week of deepening connections, deepening bonds with, with the high priestess, a very romantic nature to this week. Um, you're in your happily ever after. You're planning for the future. You, you see a future with this person. Um, you're starting to talk about marriage. You're starting to talk about kids, moving in together, and so on and so forth. There could be some kind of athletic um, success as well, well, success, accomplishments to do with um, um, athleticism, to do with physical activity. If you are taking part in competitions of any sort or uh, for charity or um, anything like that, really, I feel like you are being victorious, you're winning some kind of award, you're win winning some kind of prize. So there's a celebration for that. Whatever this is, okay, this wish that is coming true, this is something, again, there's been an element of waiting involved. There's been an element of not knowing um, whether or not it's going to happen, not being sure that it's going to happen, or not knowing when it could happen, okay, because the High Priestess is also talking about being behind a veil. You're not seeing things um, clearly she's very mysterious she's holding her cards close to her chest and uh, she only shares the information that she chooses to and a lot of the knowledge she has is behind that veil okay you're not seeing it so I feel like this was a situation where um, there was a you didn't have all the information you would have liked to have you didn't have all the answers you would have liked to have so it was um, a time of going on faith of going on hope Okay, you've had to control yourself, you've had to control the urge to uh, go up to that person and just shake him for the answer, okay, S something like that. It's something you were really, really ex excited about, something you really wanting, wanted for a very long time, um, and you've had to really remain calm and collected and control your inner beast, uh, so to speak, your temper, um, your impatience and just really wait for the answer to come to you, okay? And this is the week when you're getting the answer, you're getting all the missing pieces of the puzzle, um, you have a beautiful celebration, you have a sense of accomplishment, you're sharing it with your family, your family's getting together to celebrate you, celebrate this beautiful accomplishment that you have. For others, I feel like this is the week when you're meeting the folks or your, your partner is meeting the folks. Um, so there's an element of courage that goes with it, okay? Just take a deep breath, put on your best face, and just go ahead and see what happens. Um, I feel like, you know, they're going to be very well received, obviously. Um, it's going to be a coming together. It's going to be a celebration. Um, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, learning, okay? They're going to learn a lot of um, about yourself, about you, about your family. A lot of uh, childhood stories, you know, those embarrassing stories. I feel like that's what's coming to light, okay? Uh, but it's a really fun atmosphere, really light energy, okay? So overall, this really looks like a good month for you, Aries. Um, I hope the the uh, cards resonate with your situation. I hope that you have some, um, you find some messages of guidance, uh, some insight, some sense of direction or peace of mind in this reading. Um, if you do, please let me know. Please comment. Let me know what you think of the reading, how it makes sense for you, how your month is going, okay? Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking my videos, for sharing my videos with whoever you think may benefit from them. Uh, for commenting, I love interacting with you, I love hearing from you. Um, for just showing up and watching my videos, for being interested in what I do, for sending me positive thoughts, okay, I appreciate it all. So I hope you have a fantastic month and I will talk to you soon, okay, take care.